All right, guys, back again with another free material here. We got this really cool glitter material. Let's take a look at it. All right, so I'm going to break this little glitter material down. I think it's something fun that you might want to use. So go ahead and take a look at that. It'll be free down on the gum road. Now, this material setup was extremely easy. The first thing we do is we add in a metallic material. Make sure it's set to GGX Energy Preserve. Then what we need to do is make sure your specular map is set to one, which it should be already by default. And then I add in a RGB color into the spectra color. Again, if you go shift A, S, and then you just go RGB. Here it is, RGB color node. Select that. Choose this magenta color here. Basically, if you guys want to see the values to be exact, here is the hex code on that F D B F F F. You know, I would, you know, experiment, you know, try some different colors. From there, what we're going to need next is a normal node. This normal node gets plugged into the film width. It's going to connect into the film width. From there, we're also going to change our film IOR to one. We'll also come in here and make some changes on this node here. You're going to change this to shading and then the coordinate system to camera and make sure normalized results is checked. Then we're going to add in a color correction node on that color correction node. You're going to change the exposure down to minus 4.5. Next, you're going to add in a chaos texture. Tile scale is going to be five. Coverage set to one. Bending, blending set to 10. And then everything else is followed. Make sure enable rotation is turned on. And those are the settings I have for that. From there, we're going to add in a gradient generator. Make sure it's set to radio. Repetition or all this stuff set to one. Polygon four, 2.2 gamma. That's pretty much set stock after that. And then you're going to add in this 3D transform. And we're going to change the scale value to 0 0.007. So that's what you got going there. All right, guys. So that was just a quick little breakdown of this glitter material. Have fun with this. I did find this from another another channel. I forgot his name, the Cinema 4D guy. And again, reverse engineering, all the stuff they do to bring to you guys. Hope you guys enjoy it. I don't know the uses for glitter material, but it does look really cool. Catch you guys in the next one. Keep rendering. Peace.